For me personally, I think audience insights is actually overrated when you're in the testing phase. Now, it's not an overrated tool once you find a winner and you wanna find out more audiences, and it's not an overrated tool if you're holding inventory and you've only got a few products that you need to find audiences for. But when you're testing, you wanna really get as many products up as quickly as possible and you wanna, and you can't really take too long trying to find audiences, right? Because as I said before in like the first slide, it really is like um, the product that you choose and your targeting can be a little off um, when you're testing because yeah, again, you just need to build up that pixel data, right? So I wouldn't spend too long looking at audience insights. In saying that, I have got a little bit of advice here for, for if you do wanna go and check out audience insights. Um, and it's cool, and you just need to install this Chrome extension called FB Audience Insights Plus. Yeah, so this is like a tool that will make audience insights a lot easier because it shows you uh, which pages are active and which pages you, pages you can be searching for um, in audience insights. Yeah, so I've said here again, it's good for finding new cold audiences when you're scaling a product, right? So if you wanna um, branch out into different interests, it, it's good for that. There's another reason why Facebook is always updating new interests to target, right? And what happens is in the Facebook Ads Manager, when you search for new interests, you will be able to find thousands and thousands of more interests than you will be able to find interests in the Audience Insights tool because the Audience Insights tool doesn't update as many interests. And I'll give you an example of that, right? So let's go into open up Audience Insights. So to get there, it's just go to Audience Insights. And what I mean with that, right, is because a good way to find to find interests right so say if you wanted to go and find interest for dogs right so usually the the i love um you put i love before whatever the, the product or the niche is um and then you put like another interest so like dog lovers club right so then when you click on here you, you'll get like really really good suggestions of what kind of interest to target here so there's some, definitely some like really good niche interests here right so you literally have all these suggestions but in audience insights tool lots of these interests won't actually be available, right? So it's better to come in here, just put like a few of your interests in and then click on this drop, this this box here and a lot of like potential interests will just drop down and, and appear and you can add these interests in. With Audience Insights, these most of these interests won't actually appear here, right? So if we go into Audience Insights, yeah, so the, just, the suggestions that come up aren't that relevant, like Snoop Dogg, um, like Hot Dog and stuff, right? So when you're using here, you can get really, really targeted interest because when you're in the ads manager, Facebook will realize what you want to be searching for. Whereas in the audience insights, you can't really get as many niche interests that other people aren't targeting.